Firma Silberlitz hat sich ein sehr ambitioniertes Ziel gesetzt. Sie will das Thema Roboter für Kinder zugänglich machen. Das gucke ich mir mal an. Hi, Steve. Oh, hi. Hi, hi. nice to meet you. Me too. I can see many very stylish robots. Yes. What so, can they do? Uh, let's start with the Mac robot first. And this one? This one is a programmable robot. Yeah. It can pre-program up to 50 steps. Okay. It has auto balance, obstacle sensors, and you can direct control it. And we have a very amazing design here with a dial, which is for pre-program. Well, let's say you pre-program 10 steps. Okay. And then you press one button and ask him to do it, and he will do it. Can you show me? Yeah, sure. So you put it here. See, it's done with two wheels. Okay. You have auto balance. And here you have, have the obstacle sensor on here, so you, you won't okay, go Okay, it stops, it stops. stops. I have the obstacle sensor here. Okay. So if you face the obstacle sensor... Okay, let's try it again, let's try it again. I'm stopping it. He's, he's fearing me. Because he, he do <laughs> random actions. Yeah, he's stopping, he's stopping. Stopping. Does he move on uh, automatically or does he have any... If you don't ask him to do anything, he will move himself. Him. Yeah, if you don't ask him, he will move himself. Ah, okay. So this is for children to learn to uh, deal with robots or, or what? Coding. Coding. Like a first step to robotics about a pre -program, pre programming. Too. Okay. Because all these are the basic programming. How does it work in China? Do, do children uh, have more contact with robots than maybe here? Or? Uh, they all already have uh, coding in school. Too. Okay. Yeah, starting like uh, in, uh, I think it's uh, seven, seven years old. They already it's already. Yeah. Okay.